I am ready to start making my print using the design that I sketched. So I'm going to keep this design kind of off to the side. I don't want to get any paint on it because I'm going to do something special with it later. Um, the first thing I noticed is that my first shape that I drew was right in the middle. I'm going to find that shape in this tray and you're going to be sharing this tray with your partner who's sitting across from you at your table. So make sure you keep the tray in the middle of the table so they can reach it also. I'm just going to pick up the shape that I need. I'm going to dip my foam brush into the paint and I'm dipping it on the end. Right? I don't want to get paint on this side so much as I want to get it on the end. And then I'm just going to very gently pat that paint all over my shape like that. Um, then I'm going to float my shape down and press it into the spot where it needs to go. And then I'll just pick it right back up. And there I have my shape printed onto my paper. When you are done using a shape, you're going to put it with the paint side facing down on your tray because we don't want to get paint on the top because that's the side that we're picking up and we don't want to get paint all over our fingers. So your tray is going to get messy over here with paint and that's okay because there's only one color for each tray. When you're finished with one color, you are going to leave the foam brush at your table, you're gonna leave your shapes on the tray with the paint side facing down, and then you're gonna pick up your messy mat, pick up your sketch, and you're gonna to walk to another spot if you need to use a different color. Now I'm at a different spot to use the next color that I need, and I'm gonna look on my sketch and see what is next to that first shape that I did. On this kind of sketch where it's a circle, it's gonna be the next circle out. If you're looking at a sketch with a line like this, where I did the squares and a diagonal, you would print the squares first, and then whatever shape you drew next, maybe it's triangles, maybe it's diamonds, you would print those next. So you're gonna work from the inside out. I noticed that I did the trapezoids next. So I'm gonna do the same process as I did before. I'm gonna dip my foam brush with the flat side facing down. So I've got paint on the end of my brush, but I don't have it on any of the sides. Then I'm gonna hold that shape and just very gently tap it like that. If you get a little bit of paint on your fingers, you can always wipe them on like the corner of your messy mat. And then I'm gonna line up this shape. I'm looking at my sketch to see where it needs to go. And I'm just gonna line it up and stamp it like that. You get to decide if you want to get more paint onto your shape for the next stamp. Sometimes there will be enough paint on there that you can stamp it a second time without painting it again. Um, but once it starts to look like this, where you can see there's not very much paint on there anymore, I would want to go ahead and put another layer of paint down before I stamped it again. And then I would just keep working my way around. I would do all of my trapezoids, and then after the trapezoids, I would look and see what the next shape is. Next shape is diamonds. Then I could move to a different table to do a new color for the diamonds. I hope you have fun printmaking today.